Uh, and TV suddenly goes kid crazy. Janet Zapala has details in Fox Entertainment News. That lawsuit is a cautionary note, perhaps, for the many young actors of today who are caught up in Hollywood's biggest boom in kids' casting in years. Britton Friedman has that report tonight. They're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big start out of me. Heather Hopper, teen actress, Hollywood commodity. I'm probably very weird not to be. <laughs> I'm probably really weird now. Um... I view myself as a normal person, normal kid. You know, other people are driven to do other things. This is what I'm driven to do. Her timing couldn't be better. Right now, Hopper and hundreds of other actors, 18 and under, are suddenly in demand as Hollywood rushes to cash in on kids. Desperate to regain lost viewers, the networks currently have 200 job openings for young actors and TV pilots. They're cute. They're appealing to watch. Kids like to watch kids on television, and adults like to watch kids on television, and that's a pretty good cross-section of our audience. Not long ago, Cosby and family ties were alone in prime time. Now there's a full house of family fare. <laughs> well, I bet you I'm gonna be a big star. And more to come. Nearly one-third of the network's new pilots this fall feature kids. They're trying to show a more wholesome environment, and it does, I think it does bring in the whole family. I mean, uh, parents are very anxious to have shows that they can share with their children. Crow ought to know, she handles child actors almost exclusively. Some, like Heather, already cast in pilots. But even Crow isn't entirely enthusiastic about the current boom in kids' casting. It's a business, and there's a lot of money involved, and so production companies don't often really care what's happening to the child. Child actors cast in a pilot earn three to $5,000 a week. And if the pilot becomes a series like The Cosby Show, they can earn up to $10,000 per episode. That's $250,000 a year. And that money can buy trouble. Todd Bridges, Corey Feldman, Gary Coleman, all paid a price for their success, leading critics to blame not just Hollywood, but parents for putting their children's wealth before their emotional welfare. It's the ego of the mother and the father roboting their children and programming their children to fulfill a dream of theirs that they never had the guts to do. Third generation child actor, now casting agent, Eddie Foy. And the horrendous things those mothers and fathers do to program that child into going in and being wonderful for the casting director so they'll get the job, it is nauseating. But what Foy calls programming, others call support. Heather Hopper's entire family moved from Monterey to Los Angeles two years ago in pursuit of a 15-year-old's Hollywood dream. You give up your job. You give up any pursuit of any career of your own. I've had no regrets, absolutely none. My joy comes from her joy. Uh, I guess a lot of people would say, that's living through your child. Many do. And with the current demand for child actors, critics like Eddie Foy say that between ambitious parents and a seductive system, too many young actors are being exploited with too little regard for what happens to them when the current boom comes to an end. Bryn Friedman, Fox Entertainment News. Not always as glamorous as it would seem. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'm Janet Zapala, Fox Entertainment News.